Hey guys, I device help here, and today I want to talk about iOS 10.3.3 beta 3 versus iOS 11 and beta 1. Now I know both softwares are in betas, but I wanted to have both side by side to show you some refinements in iOS 11, even though it's still in beta, that to me work better than iOS 10. Of course, I'll do a few other tests, but I wanted to show you some old features that have been refined in iOS 11 versus iOS 10. iOS 11 is on the red iPhone 7 Plus, iOS 10 is on the gold version. Now the first thing I want to show you is the rise to wake a lot of you guys know the rise to wake where you lift your device like this and it wakes so see here ios 10 how it dims really quickly ios 11 stays this way until you put your device back down now it'll dim so very very useful because it doesn't take a lot of time here for ios 10 to dim not giving you a chance to see your notifications so very well thought out in ios 11 that apple only dims the screen once the device is back down now touch id on both of these devices is the second generation so when i press on the home button they should unlock at the same time so animations is a factor here but it looks like the speed is relatively the same as you see there when unlocking both devices. Now one thing I wanted to point out that I think you guys are really going to enjoy is here is iOS 10 on the left as I mentioned, iOS 11 on the right. So I'm going to scroll once on both here in Safari and you'll see the difference. So here we go, one, two, three. Did you see that? I'm all the way in the bottom of the page here for iOS 11. iOS 10, I didn't even get to half of the page. You see how many times it took me to scroll through and get to the bottom? Once again, going up. You see this? It's like butter now when you scroll through in iOS 11. Now, just for the sake, I did run a few tests here. And here is the single core score on iOS 10, 3528, with a multi-core score of 5936. Now, iOS 11 did not perform better as expected, 3358 on the single core. And the multi-core score was 5834. But that is to be expected. iOS 11 is in its first beta. iOS 10 has been around for quite some time. Now, here is 3D Touch. That's going to be just about the same speed launching applications as well. I noticed that there isn't a major difference. It's all about the animations. Now, one thing I wanted to point out here for the iPhone 7 Plus models, take a look here at the portrait mode option and take a look at the top here. See all the options you get in iOS 11. You get the flash, HDR, you get the timer, and then some cool filters that you can apply to the actual portrait mode. On iOS 10, you just get the timer that's it so improvements there as well as i scroll over here to the widgets one thing that i do miss about ios 10 here on ios 11 is the date right here on the widgets but on ios 11 we just get the time over here we get both time and date overall ios 11 is moving in the right direction we see those new animations faster scrolling and the new rise to wake feature which understands how the phone is being held that's also a plus because you get to see your notifications now in terms of battery i didn't really want to talk about battery because it is horrible for me on all of the devices that I'm running iOS 11 and it is to be expected of course the first beta iOS 10 being around for such a long time you know the hardware is better integrated to the software at this point so the performance and the battery is really good on iOS 10.3.3 rather than what it is on iOS 11 but we'll see that improve in the future and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to click that like button much more videos coming away be sure to stay tuned I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys real soon peace